I'm K Kristen Rogers. Here's the headlines for Monday, September 9th from your trusted local news source. Starting today, there are new pickup and drop off rules at Perry Elementary School in the wake of an incident last week. The school district says a parent became physical with staff and tried to forcefully enter the school on Thursday morning. Starting today, the school will open for students only starting at 745. All doors will remain locked after school hours. For dropping off students, parents or guardians must meet students by the flagpole or the circle drive next to the school. Anyone wishing to enter the school before, during or after hours must use the doorbell system to enter the building. These changes in Perry come as the district is still reeling from the deadly school shooting in January. It killed 11 year old student Amir Jolliffe and high school principal Dan Marburger. The shooter, a student, also died. So far, investigators have not announced a motive for the shooting. We now know the names of the four Iowans killed when a plane crashed on the way from Fort Dodge to Indiana. The crash happened Friday near the Anderson Municipal Airport near Indianapolis. Witnesses told police the plane looked like it was turning back when it flipped over and crashed into a field. Officials say Joseph Scallon, Jesse Osheimer of Alden, Braden Hicks and Owen James Renaud of Alden were all killed. Happening today in Dubuque, the Miller Riverview Park and Campground will reopen to the public for the first time in months. Elevated Mississippi River levels forced the park and campground to close back in May. Park staff work to get the park back open through flood and cleanup projects. The city of Dubuque is asking campers and park goers to stay mindful of conditions from the flood damage. For all the latest headlines, download the KCRG TV9 News app. You'll get breaking news alerts, and you can watch stories and newscasts when it's convenient for you. Download the KCRG 